All right, so we're here at the um, Guild Wars 2 player meet and greet that we do um, at the edge of Emerald City Comic Con. We're really excited. We're staying here with a room that is packed with people. We have like, I don't know, 120, 130 people in here. Um, they're all really, really quiet at the moment, so they can actually understand the questions that we will ask our developers. And um, instead of introducing them, I will just hand over the mic and let them introduce themselves. Hey everybody, I'm Mike Ferguson, uh, kind of the design lead on War vs. World. Nice to see everybody here. Woo! Woo! Um, my name is Jonathan Sharp. I'm kind of the... John Jonathan Sharp. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm the PvP lead. I uh, do a lot of the balance, that kind of stuff. And uh, I like Guild Wars 2. I'm Angel McCoy. I'm the narrative designer on the Living Story team. And uh, I'm really excited to be here and to meet you all. So please do come and talk to me. And uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Mike Sidorosna. I'm one of the uh, lead designers who works mostly on the content stuff. So uh, like the guild content that we just released. Uh, also the Asclonian Catacombs uh, dungeon revamp that we just did. So things like that. Uh, I have been playing Guild Wars since like the betas of the first one. From the beginning, I have loved the char. Care deeply about them. To the point of crazy, that's okay. Um, one of the things that I'm really curious about is gender roles in char society and how female char have come to uh, sort of overcome the mm, patriarchal of previous flame legion. Um, and I'm curious to see if, will we see any um, story involved with that? Do we have any characters who are specific who have overcome this I don't know female char coming into their own long story short Thanks. I think that's one for you Angel right <laughs> yay female char power uh, so, so we have a long period of time between Guild Wars 1 and Guild Wars 2 about 250 years basically off camera we have not seen it happen but off camera what happened was female char uh, rose up and said, hey, you know, we're tired of this. And this was all a big part of the, of the rejection of the Flame Legion and, and the, the sort of um, religious society that the Flame Legion imposed on the other legions when they were the ones in charge. And so now, uh, female char are equals, completely equal to male char in the Iron Legion, Ash Legion, and Blood Legion. And we don't have any specific storylines planned related to that because we really wanted to kick off Guild Wars 2 with that equality being firmly established. We wanted to get away from female char as a secondary sort of part of society. So that being said, we also have like some of our own our own internal stuff that we've talked about some of these stories and things like that. So at some point, you may see this kind of trickle out either in a storybook or in the game itself. So stay tuned. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> hey, so I'm part of actually a small guild, 30-person guild, 10 to 15 people active. I'm super excited about this new, these new guild bounties and stuff but I don't have 50,000 influence, and I'm not gonna have 50,000 influence tomorrow, or next week, or maybe not even by the end of the month. There was a lot of statement that this is gonna be something that even small guilds can participate in, but I feel like I can't, because there's so much influence necessary, and I'm in this small guild with just my friends, just the people that like, I actually chat with. I feel like there's a really high level of entry. It's like 200, 400,000 to unlock everything. What's up with that? <laughs> it's UZ, right? Uh, the easy questions. Um, so, uh, you know, when we, we, when we first released the guild content, we were actually looking at kind of the, the influence gains and, and the rates of how guilds were doing. Uh, you know, we made some assumptions on some of these things. And, uh, you know, we actually made some last minute changes because they were actually even higher before. Uh, uh, almost ridiculous amount. Uh, but this is uh, definitely something that we're, we're noticing. We're seeing the feedback from the forums. We're seeing feedback from fans like you who really have kind of... Um, 
you know, a smaller scale or not necessarily as active guilds as we were anticipating on some of these things. So the things I can tell you right now is obviously, you know, we're going to be a little more transparent on like how uh, influence is uh, gained and things like that that can help some of these guilds who can, you know, organize parties really kind of deal with some of these things. But we're also looking at, at uh, other initiatives as well. So, um, you know, stay tuned. Like we, we are listening. We have seen this feedback. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, the team that actually built the guild content is not being dissolved now that, like, that initiative is done. We're keeping some around who are looking at some uh, new things, uh, some UI tweaks to make things a little more clear. And then, you know, we're all listening to this kind of stuff as well. Thank you for making it easier for us to Okay, I met a gentleman here who was actually hoping for a ranger overhaul. He had a lot of good points, but one thing I've been kind of curious about since day one, I was hoping if I ever made a ranger, I'd be able to catch a griffin as a pet. I would like to have a griffin as a pet. Will that be happening at some point? Z? Chap? Um, to kind of not give too much away, but yeah, that's one of those things that we feel that um, there's more stuff to come as we start to put in other things. There's actually a whole slew of other things um, that might or might not be part of some of the stuff that we've talked about before. I can't give too many specifics, but basically, when it's ready, but that's one of those things that we've asked, we've heard people ask for that before, so it's, it is on a list. <laughs> we have actually quite a lot of lists. We have a lot of things on it. Okay, first of all, I'll be clear about this. This is not about guild bounties. This is about the art of war tree. My guild is mostly PvE. Will you be adding more attractive options for PvE players in the Art of War tree? So the question was, um, with the current guild missions, like part of them are under the Art of War tree, which is currently like the very PvP-focused tree, and his guild is mostly PvE-oriented, so he was wondering if there's more interesting stuff coming that is interesting for PvE guilds that will be sitting in the Art of War tree. Uh, the short answer is yes. Uh, this is stuff that we're, we really wanted, uh, as we were looking at the, the kind of the, the guild content stuff that we just released, we wanted to kind of break the barrier with, you know, really making it so uh, PvE guilds really cared about all of the trees, and it wasn't just, you know, there was one tree that was dedicated to PvP. Uh, I believe there's a reward at the top of it right now, um, which I think is armor repair reduction. But we are definitely going to be adding additional things in there to kind of make it more worthwhile and you don't feel like you're really just kind of striving for like tier five before anything really becomes worthwhile. Thanks. I have a structured question. So um, I find it like two o'clock in the morning, it's really tough to like join as a group, you know. So, and I don't mind having the join solo button. I really do dig that in the tournament. But is there a chance that we could like expand the Heart of the Mist lobby, like having like all the servers like linked in some way? I mean, is that is that a possibility even? So the question was basically, um, could we link the lobbies together? Um, so he's talking about the the Heart of the Mist, which is where you go to play competitive PvP. Um, and one of the problems is that sometimes late at night it's kind of deserted. And there's a lot of people that are actually playing, but they're all spread out to multiple, multiple servers. One suggestion that we've seen on the forums many times is merging those. And that's one of the things we've actually considered doing, and it's on a list, to be honest. Um, so it's, it's, it's a problem, but uh, we also have some other features coming in that would also help with this problem. Has he? Okay, so looking for party is going to help for a lot of this, too. Because looking for party will let you go to any server, look for anybody, put in the criteria that you need, and uh, so Colin spilled it. So, uh, yeah, between those two, we think it's going to actually rectify that problem. So that's probably going to go away pretty soon. Yep. First of all, I just want to thank you guys for making an incredible game. I can't stress enough how much I really appreciate all your hard work going into that. Now, with that being said, I have two quick questions for you. First being prestige. Um, you know, I love the armor set, the designs you guys have come up with, and the weapons and all that. But the titles, I feel, are lacking. I feel like the title system could be improved greatly if even by showing it underneath your name, but maybe above your guild tag. So I guess more of a suggestion than a question, but is that something that you guys are looking at? Interesting. <laughs> and sorry, my, my second question is in regards to the World of the World abilities that we're coming out with here in the future. 
Um, big fan of Worldly World and, you know, really like the sound of what's to come. However, I prefer personally more small group, maybe two groups, skirmishes versus large zergs. Siege weaponry not being my most favorite. And a lot of the things that were previewed to us was, oh, hey, we're getting a lot of weapons that reduce siege damage we take, or abilities that reduce the siege damage we take, or the siege damage that we deal. And none of them really sounded all that interesting. So I was curious if we're going to see some abilities would reward player versus player and not siege versus siege. So I'll start with the abilities question first. Uh, the question is, will we see any World versus World abilities coming up with the newest update that will kind of deal more with player versus player combat instead of more of like the siege abilities that we've revealed? Uh, you know, we're still working on that list of what the abilities are going to be. Uh, the thing I'm trying to keep in mind with this stuff is we don't want to make it so that uh, if you have a bunch of abilities, you just instantly just beat somebody because you have those abilities, which is why we tried to focus more on passives like doing extra siege damage or taking less siege damage. Um, Obviously, at this point, the system is not even released yet, so we're still working on it. Uh, and we're going to keep expanding it as we go forward. So, you know, maybe in the span of time, we will see something that's more PvP focused, but it's not currently in the cards right now because we want to focus more on just getting the general system out and some of the general abilities. Uh, and the first question was actually relating to uh, our current title system and how it's just kind of hard to see that, and it's just not really clear when someone's displaying a title. Uh, that is one of the things that is actually pretty high on our list. So, uh, you know, we've been looking at it. We, we know it's a problem. We want our titles to be very visible. We want those to be very cool. And we want you to be able to show them off and have people be like, wow, look at that guy. He got that title. That's awesome. Uh, so that, that is definitely one of the things that we're working on. And hopefully we'll have something in the game at some point soon. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. I've got two questions. Um, the first one is, when you're talking in guild chat, it shows up as your character name, but if you're like me and you play five or six different characters, you're unrecognizable to your own guild. Can we get it so that uh, our account name displays instead of our character name? So that your guild can actually recognize you and you can build a community with them instead of being the stranger that logs in with four or five different accounts and jumps into a random conversation? The second one is um, engineers, I think, are the least played class, and they suffer from a perception of having the least amount of attention one of them being that we've got a low number of builds that we're able to do, specifically in regards to the, like, the only skill tree that pertains to being an engineer as opposed to a commando or a soldier is turrets. When can we see some like major changes to turrets to Okay. My turret shoots at the dirt nine times out of ten. He's, he's on fire. Okay. Um, if I'm in a guild, the question is, um, sometimes he plays four or five different accounts, or sorry, characters. So the problem is that sometimes when he comes into his guild, people might not recognize one of his names because it's a different character. So he's asking, could it be possible for him to display his account instead of the actual character name specifically? And while I can't answer that right now, I can say that we have a, that is a problem. We have identified it, and we are already starting a system that's going to actually let you customize a lot of that stuff and take care of that issue. So I can't give you details, but that exact issue is something we know about, and we're working to fix as we've, we've already talked about stuff like that, actually. Um, the second thing is about engineers. He says that uh, he, there's a perception that engineers don't get much love. Um, what we find is that pretty much every profession feels that they don't get much love. Um, and he said specifically, we feel like one of the things that makes us an engineer is the turrets. And we really can't use our turrets. They're not very strong. I was in a meeting today where we had a meeting. The name of the meeting was Engineer Turret Meeting. That was the name of the meeting. So. We know that's an issue. Um, yeah, because it's one of those things where you feel like those are just, they're not as cool as they could be. So we're going back and we're saying, how do, how do we make these cooler? Um, a lot of times with every single patch, what we're trying to do is we take the weakest thing. Sometimes it's a utility. Sometimes it's a heal. Sometimes it's a weapon for every single profession and say, what can we do to make this better? This is not played. This is not enjoyed. Why? Why is this not as good? And we say, OK, cool. Let's give those guys something. So that's why we try to move through a patch and do all that. Sometimes something is really big, like a turret revamp of like, how do these turrets work? How are they going to function? That's a bigger thing than just a number tweak, maybe for offhand acts for a warrior or something like that. So it's going to take more time, but it's one of those things that we always try to get something in there for every single profession if we can.
There's also a lot of basically AI problems with turrets, which is another part of that, which is just how much of that is design, how much of that is actually just programming, how much of it is UI and targeting. There's actually, it, it's a multifaceted problem. So that's one of those things that when we had those meetings, we're like, let's break this up into our different lists and then give different lists to different departments to fix it. Sure. Something like that might be already being talked about. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, we wrap this up here. Thank you all very much for answering all these questions. As you, so if, if, there's one, if there's one thing or two that we learned today, an MMO basically only starts with the launch, and that's the begin of the journey, and then it's like a living, breathing organism. And ArenaNet has a lot of lists. Um, thank you all for being here. Like, as you can hear, everybody has a good time. So you're missing out. Next time, you might want to join us for one of our meet and greets. And with that, I say, stay classy, Terrier, and we're out. <laughs>